The 39th Thanksgiving and graduation ceremony of Wellspring Rehabilitation Center held on Saturday, November 25th, 2023. To the glory of God, we had 12 residents who completed the treatment program. Let's hear from three of them. I am Samalik. I am Mr. Bulu. Um, I would like to know how and what led you to drug and how it happens. I, I started drug by friends. Yeah. It's friend that introduced me to smoking. Mm. But when I started smoking, I thought I was doing a good thing, mm. which I didn't know it was a bad. Mm. But after what a friend leads me to it, mm. I didn't know that smoking was bad at it. When I reached Westmead Rehabilitation, that time I knew that, yes, they teach me a lot in Westmead, which I don't expect to teach me. And what they teach me, they let me know many parts and a part which it gave me knowledge today. As for me, I see that smoking is a bad attitude. You should stop smoking. Can you tell me yours? Is that mm. what you I also started drug treatment, but mine was argu was also argument. Because we are arguing, you can do this, you can't do this. So, but my friends are smokers, but, and I also smoke before. But I've lived, lived for a while. But when we started the argument, uh, can you do this? Can you do this? Uh, my friends said they can. So I also want to prove to them that I can also do it. That was when they brought, they brought the drug and they rolled it and we started performing. The first time I smoked it, I had an epilepsy. So after that time, I was like, ah, so this thing used to be like this. So I want to prove it that ah, I can also do it. So that was when those. That was when I entered into I entered deep into the uh, Mr. Bulu, to share the story, can you tell me about West Spring? Hmm, West Spring. Hmm. West Spring is a good rehabilitation center. When I got to West Spring, hmm. I'm a Muslim. When I got to West Spring, but when I got to West Spring, West Spring shared about, yes, he said to me about God, different things about Christ. So I had no choice. I have to, I have to collect Jesus. To take Jesus into my life, so Jesus has done a lot into my life. For instance, now, like, when we start sharing my testimony, I will finish it. Like, like our people. father said that in the Ashu, they are more, we hmm. can't be different. Hmm. Ah, we keep you. just, we just keep counting days. I've been struggling with these drugs. Well, there are a lot because I didn't really take one, and it was a friend of mine that drove me into it. It's not like I lacked anything good or anything at home. It was just like, should I say, peer pressure. So how I got to know Christ was during the period I, I have overtaken the drugs and everything. I felt ill. Then the people I was with, I didn't know that they were, should I say, these Yahoo Plus guys. So they were those ones that harvest organs. I didn't know, and they usually speak Yoruba. So it was one of the nurses that had to tell the doctor that, and um, he called my mom. So she came, picked me, and I told my mom, these drugs of a thing, I'm really tired of itself, that I really need to change, because I really don't know where my life is heading if I continue like that. So I met Jesus here, in Wellspring. Uh, it was kind of difficult for me though because I was struggling. I always have this craving and my own was not really the drugs of it. My own was like more of sex and all this stuff. So every day I keep on seeing myself in the dream. I had to discuss with the staff. They helped me out. And with God, I got healed. I really want to thank God for everything He has done for me. I also want to use the Bible passage, 2 Corinthians 5 17, because that was like one of my key Bible passages I love, which says, If any man be in Christ, is a new creature, and all things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. So I know that my former life, I've gotten behind of it, and I, I'm, I want to move forward. Because 
those drugs stops me from going to school. So now that I know I've overcome it, I want to see if I can still go back to school. For the WRC program, the particular course I would say helped me was purpose and pursuit. It helped me know what I was brought for to this life to do, and it made me discover that every human being has a purpose on the earth, and we're not supposed to die without our purpose. And also, I also learned praise and worship. Normally, I not sing a lot, but when it comes to gospel songs and all those stuff, I always see that as a wastage of time. So now, when I learned it, I was like, wow. Most of the time, if I'm doing work, those songs pop up in my head. And it's like, whenever I sing, I get energized to continue with the work. So I really learned a lot. It impacted a lot in my life. That I know. If you're struggling with drugs or or that shall I say hook up and other stuff don't let your friends or don't let what people say determine who you are because it will help a lot rather they're just destroying you I would like you to really change and give your life to Christ also in attendance were WRC staff family and friends of the residents let's hear from one of them yeah my name is Olagbegi Victor uh, I am uh, a brother-in-law to one of the housemates and uh, I discovered World Spring sometimes in that was like uh, four, five months ago when I was just passing by trying to check for some houses and I stumbled in and I realized uh, it was a I asked them and they said it was a rehabilitation center. Yeah, my a patient here happens to be someone of a reputable home who had a, a family man of four but who who went astray into substances which actually damaged his well-being his family separated him from the family and the children and uh, he began someone he became someone that was sleeping on the railway path and uh, having noticed that he was Deport, mainly was deported from uh, an Asian country. So on my own part, I just thought of, instead of him traveling out of the country, the best part since I realized the, the, uh, the facility home, I felt it's the best option at the moment where they use the word to cure the substances or whatever they might be going through at the moment. Having said that, I, after bringing him here, I, I, after a month, I think that was last month, I actually had a, 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 I watched a web interview with him, a Zoom meeting, which I realized he had actually catch up. He was doing fine. His testimonies were on point. So at this point, I feel for those people out there who have been into this into the world taking different kind of substances i feel being at world spring is the best place for them to be because uh in a place where you don't use the drugs the 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 uh scientist part of it the substances to cure the substances where you use the word of god to talk to them to teach them and put them in the right path. Now he is talking about being a pastor. Now he is talking being going into the world. When I was talking to him the other day, oh sorry, just a few moments ago, he was telling me the old him is dead, but this is the new him. Well, at this point, I think it's something I really applaud Wellspring for bringing this kind of initiative, going in this route, and uh, trying to bring people back to their correct track. I, I, I really appreciate it and I give kudos to Wellspring. And my own advice to anyone watching that is not mean that you come to Wellspring before you leave. For my own advice, you can gain a lot because I've worked through it. You stop smoking. Any smoking is addicted. And once you are addicted, because of smoking, I sell all my property. So, and when after when I came to Wellspring, they took the addicted on me. But now I'm fit as a man. So now I'm very proud of myself that I stopped smoking. I'm very happy. My own advice is that young men and women 
to stop hard drug because hard drug can do a lot in man's life because hard drug make you do a lot of bad things selling of property stealing gambling and doing a lot of bad things and with hard drugs i'm not sure or you can't even prosper in life even though you prosper in life with time you will everything is cut out thank god for my life if you'd like to support the work that we do here at wrc please see details on the screen god bless you until next time bye